Hello everyone, what's going on? Alfian here. Hope you guys are doing well. This video is a part of the new Modern Collection View series where we'll learn about the new Modern Collection View APIs introduced by Apple. In this video, we're going to learn about the Seller Registration API new in iOS 14 using Collection View. So without further ado, let's begin and start coding. To begin, please download the starter project from the GitHub repository I provided in the description below. This project is based on the UI collection view from scratch tutorial series. You can click on the link to the tutorial if you are interested to learn about how to implement UI collection view with flow layout and UI collection view data source from the beginning. Open the starter project. Navigate to the multiple sections character via controller here and then let's close the canvas okay and navigate to the setup collection view here for the cell registration we are using the standard register method passing the class type as well as the euro use identifier string in this case we are not using nib to create the collection view cell and supplementary view Okay, let's navigate to the cell for atom at index path. Here, to the queue the cell, we invoke the collection view, the queue resemble cell, passing the use identifier string and the index path. Then, because the return type of this is the UI collection view cell, we need to force cast it as character cell. Then we retrieve the character and invoke the cell setup passing the character. While the current approach works, there are many pitfalls that we need to consider in the implementation. First, consider a case where we have many cells with different type. We have to be extra careful to register each cell with unique identifier to avoid them clashing. Second, the app will crash when the collection view tries to dequeue the cell if we forgot to register the cell with an identifier before. Third, we need to force cast UI collection view cell as the subclass of the cell associated with the identifier manually. This can also lead to crash if we force cast to invalid class. With iOS 14, Apple introduces a new API to solve this problem elegantly by using Swift strongly type nature combined with generic parameters. It's very simple to use. Okay, for the implementation, let's navigate to the top here. We need to declare the property to store the cell registration. Let's declare a private for cell registration. The type will be UI collection view dot cell registration. And for the parameter, the generic parameter, we need to pass the character cell as the UI collection view cell. And for the model, let's pass character model. And let's set it as a nil first. Navigate to the setup collection view here and remove this register implementation and let's assign the cell registration property with the UI collection view dot cell registration initializer passing the handler here and for the handler we need to set the cell as character cell index path we don't need it and for the character it will be the character struct Okay, and then inside the closure, we just need to invoke cell that setup passing the character. That's it for the registration. And now for the cell for atom index path where we need to dequeue. Let's remove this dequeue statement here. And then declare the cell with collection view dequeue. Which one to use? Uh, the queue configured visible cell. Here we need to pass the cell registration. In this case, it will be the cell registration property in this path and also the character. Okay. Okay, now let's build and run in the simulator to make sure everything works as expected. Okay, it is still working. No problem to the queue the cell here, the character cell. Okay, so let's also implement the registration for the supplementary view. 
Here we just need to declare a new private property. Let's give it a name of header registration. For the type, we can use UI collection view dot supplementary registration. Here it only accepts the UI collection reusable view. In this case, it will be header view itself. Okay, that's it. And here in the setup collection view, let's remove this and then assign the error registration with UI collection view dot supplementary registration here. For the element kind, we need to pass UI collection element kind you collection view dot element kind section header and for the handle itself let's pass the header here with the type of header view for the string we, we won't use it and for the index path let's pass this and let's copy here inside the Basically, we need to retrieve the section here from the section characters array, and then we need to yeah using the index path section, and then we need to invoke the error configure method passing the text with the section category and the section characters count. Okay, that's it for the header registration and handler. Now let's navigate to the view for supplementary element of kind. Here let's replace this with chain view the Q configured receivable supplementary here, passing the supplementary passing the error registration and the index path. And that's basically so simple and easy to use. Let's try to build and run again. Okay, header, cell, it just works. No problem. Nice. We can see that there are many advantages that we can get by using the cell registration. Such as, first, the cell registration provides safe and strongly typed parameters for the cell and model. There is no typecasting that we need to handle at all. We don't need to provide unique identifier string. The API handles the generation of unique identifier and registration to the class or an ID. That's it for this short video about the modern cell registration API. In the next video, we will be learning and exploring about modern cell content configuration and list in collection view. So until the next one, let's keep the lifelong learning goes on. Bye guys.